Well, this is my first time videoing. I'm going to try to demonstrate uh, making a Lockloosa Noonan out of a piece of real nice heat treated coral from Jeff Capron in uh, Plant City, Florida. Hopefully, that's the point we're going to make. Um, we're going to try our best and, and uh, just see how things go. It's a good piece of coral. I don't see any, any problems with it, I don't see any pithiness. Uh, a little cortex on the back side. Uh, we're gonna knock that off. Uh, shouldn't shouldn't even be a problem with us. Uh, we try to keep the color in there. We try to stay close to this edge here. Let's see what happens. Um, I haven't hit the rock yet. I don't know what it's gonna do. Uh, Jeff sent me this rock, and I'm guessing it's a pretty good one. I use this t-shirt as my leg pad. Um, it's cheap. Uh, if it gets dirty, just wash it. It's gonna have some holes in it, but. Uh, it keeps on going. It's just a big old thick cotton shirt. I use uh, like a medium grid of braider. Um, this is my bopper. Just a little one inch copper, uh, solid copper bopper. Uh, I just like it. Just keeps me in rhythm and, and it's right there in my hands all the time. Um, if it's real tough, I'm going to use my three inch bopper, which is solid copper. It's one inch copper. Um, I turn the end, got me a little crown on this end, and got the bopper on. Got the brown bopper on this end like we all have. Once I get down to the uh, the nitty gritty down to the end of it and I put the boppers down, uh, we're gonna turn to do a little pressure flaking. Um, I pretty much use just a flat pressure flaker uh, for most of the stuff I use. Uh, I still got the edge and uh, then I can do some notching if I have to. Uh, and also I got the 18 inch pressure flaker with the quarter inch rod. And that's what we're gonna try to do. So let's see what happens. I think it's going to break pretty good. I just set me up with just a little nipple. Just see what we can get off the, off the side of it. See if we can get a big flake out of it. Got quite a bit run up in there halfway, which is good. We're still in the biface uh, preform making, so it's not going to be that big a problem if we don't go up halfway. Uh, we'll always clean them off once we get it down a little thinner. We're just trying to clean off the crud. It's only about 90 degrees out here today, too. I'm afraid to turn on the fan. I don't want to make too much uh, noise. Uh, I want you to be able to hear me talking. I watched uh, Woody Blackwell down in uh, Payne's Prairie. Make a couple of real nice clovis points. He'd make a lot of isolated platforms. Those platforms allow him to shoot a flake a little further, clean off a lot of the, a lot of the, uh, the crud, the bad spots on the rock, and just make a real nice slick face so your next flake uh, works like you're supposed to. Um, predictability is is one key factor in uh, napping, I believe. If uh, if it's if you can't determine where that flake's going to go, you're going to have problems with the whole rock. Um, so what we try to do is we try to get it slick, get a little bit of lenticular form to it, and then we know where the flake's going, and uh, we can artistically design it how we want to at that point. All right, I just took flake here, isolated platform. What I did is set me up a platform right here. Ground it real good, got it real stout. I took this flake off because I want to remove all this this bad area right here and where I said I had the hinge at which was here um, so when I took the flake I got that piece off I'm driving that into the uh, the area I want to remove I'm not trying to go across or nothing I'm just trying to remove the material thin the biface down as least amount of shots as possible uh, I think I've hit it what uh, one two three four four times and I got rid of all the crud off the top of it and I thinned the rock down probably a good eighth of an inch on this one side. Put my fingers back here to stop it. Instead of taking another one right here, we're gonna come on down here and uh, widen it up. That way we can get the full fan on our on our flake. So if we got the same fan fan again, we'll just about get all the all the rock thinned out just two shots. We're gonna take one right here. I'll come right here and we'll try to take this flake into this location right here. All 
Alright. Two flakes. I removed all that. All that material. And two flakes. Notice I'm coming straight down on the rock. Coming down now, I'm just nibbing. I'm not trying to drive no flakes. I just want to get rid of this edge right here. Shot right through it. Got flake, flake. I got a little good platform here. I'm gonna go ahead and smooth that out. I got a hump right here. Go ahead and smooth this out. I'm gonna take a few more little small flakes. Just little ones. Not rearing back. We're just taking a few pieces off. A little small. That just two little shots there. One little hinge right there, but I'm not worried about it right now. Alright, now let's come over here and work the back this side. We got a little you can see the difference in the thickness here. One side's flat, one side's got a big hump on it. We'll take this big ridge out. I'm going to try to start right here and I'll take a little, I'll set this up. I've got a pretty good platform there now. I'll take it and it's probably going to run down this ridge anyways. It's going to run in and then run down this ridge. So we should be able to take a little bit of the, about that much of the ridge out probably. As I said, uh, flake come in, didn't go very far down the point, and, uh, but it run that ridge, it just run that ridge and went right on down the ridge. So, once you learn, once you learn a lot about uh, the way the rock is going to fracture, um, and if it's a good piece of material, it's going to break uh, pretty consistent every time. You can get a good idea as to what it's going to do, and that helps you because it gives you confidence. And, and, uh, so when you get down those critical areas, you'll know that it, when you hit it, it's not going to hopefully ain't gonna snap on you. All right, there we go again. Just took one out right beside it because I had a real good platform there. I didn't want to go ahead and chip it off and lose my width. But I uh, took the shot, came in same way, ran up the side here just a little ways, but it ran right down this ridge, right down the point. Got me a little platform set up. Perfect. past the median, past the center of the point, and I got rid of a big old chunk there. <laughs> 